Hello and welcome back to Dave Talks. Today we're going to be reviewing the Northampton Town versus Manchester United EFL Cup game. The game finished 3-1 to Manchester United. Manchester United opening the scoring through Michael Carrick following a short free kick. Then Alex Revel equalised for Northampton from the penalty spot following some pretty dodgy defending. Ander Herrera made it two goals to one and Marcus Rashford rounded off the scoring with some brilliant individual closing down, nicking the ball from the keeper and putting the ball into the back of the net. What a finish, Marcus. What a finish, lad. Right, let's just talk about the positives of the game and the negatives of the game. First, let's talk about the negatives. And that was that five-minute spell where Northampton got a bit of steam, a bit of attacking impetus, especially down that left-hand side. Timmy Fusu Mensa really didn't show himself in a positive light, What well, didn't defend close enough to the fella, wasn't making the right decision, was getting done with simple, simple moves, you know, shifting your body left and right. Mensa needs to be a little bit um, tighter to his opponent and a little bit more aggressive in those situations. But, you know, first game this season, still very young, so don't blame me too much. And then the goal. What was going on? Like, honestly, this is basic defending. You don't, you, you get the ball in the penalty area, you get rid. You know, we're not Barcelona, we're not going to play it out the back, we're not Manchester City. We're Mourinho's Manchester United, you get rid. The amount of players that could have got rid in that situation, the ball comes in, Rojo, one of the worst defensive headers I've ever seen. You know, from left-back position to the right-back, Fusu Mensah should have cleared it. You know, a young player, again, he you know needs to learn from this mistake and, and next time just get rid. You know, comes off him, the Schneidlin, he could have got rid of the ball. And then Daly Blind, stay on your feet, Daly. That is the basics of defending. Clear the ball, stay on your feet. It's just so, so simple. And Mourinho needs to hammer these players because they're not good enough. They're not performing right now in terms of a defensive element. You know, uh, sorry, Luke Shaw got criticised for the goal um, at the weekend for not pressing. And correct, wasn't pressing. Mourinho has to, you know, has to get this through to these players because they're not defending well and they're not defending as a unit. But anyway, that's that's the that's the negative. That five minute spell where United let Northampton back into the game. But let's talk about the positives first. The one and only Michael Carrick, a brilliant performance, absolutely influential in front of the the back four, really playing forward passes, really getting the ball into the dangerous danger zone. Took his goal brilliantly, but he just dictated everything. The most touched on the pitch, the most passes completed on the pitch, the most forward passes. His influence in this United team needs to be every single week. He needs to be in there. I don't care if he's 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. To get the best out of Pog Pogba, you need Michael Carrick's forward passing. Simple as that. Second little positive, and the Herrera, brilliant display. Following his display at the weekend that was toothless in the final third, failed to complete a pass into the penalty area. He was brilliant. Brilliant on the ball, really sharp. Forward passes, you know, through, always looking for that through ball, always looking for the ball inside the uh, left centre back, um, sorry, the right centre back and the right back, you know, playing Marcus Rojo through a number of times. If Rojo was, you know, a little bit better than he is in terms of crossing, in terms of slowing his brain down, then maybe we would have scored some goals that way. But brilliant display from Ander Herrera. Hit the post with a wonderful shot and then took his goal very well. A control finish into the bottom of the goal. And then on to the final man that I want to talk about in terms of positives. And my man of the match, got to be Marcus Rashford. It's just so simple. Football is so simple for him. It's one of the easiest games in the world. You can you can tell that he's you know been through the United Academy because he does things right. Everything he does is perfect. You know the the assist that he got. You know the Schneidlin Schneidlin nicking the ball, counter attacking, and then just you know slowing the play down. Take taking a moment to get his head up, slip the ball back to Ander Herrera in acres of space, and puts the ball in the back of the net. Composure, such a composed player, and then his goal. You know, that, that ball was a nothing ball. You know, Herrera cleared the ball, but Rashford made that a goal by his pressure. We saw the week before against Feyenoord, he was pressing alone. And, he, you know, nothing was coming from that because United were too deep. This time, you know, it comes off. And that's what I like about strikers. Desire, work rate and determination to nick the ball in those situations. That's a gamble because he scored a goal. Then you get, then he picks the ball in the centre centre of the pitch. You know, a few months, moments later, Memphis Depay for the whole get for the whole time he was on the pitch was just trying to step over, was trying to come inside, trying to beat his man. Simple, you get, simplify your game, pal. Rashford takes the ball in central midfield, gives it to Zlatan, moves forward. Again, so many times, takes the ball in between the lines, plays simple pass, moves forward. When he's in a wide area, takes his opponent on. When he's in the penalty area, puts the ball in the back of the net. It's so simple. Simplified football at its greatest. What, we, what I found really amusing, though, was when Rashford picked up the ball, middle interchange with Zlatan, moves looking good, tempo's going up, goes to Rooney, that's it, dead. But anyway, from within Shaw, he loves to fight. He was born to play in red and white. So listen up, it must be said, like Manchester, Rashford is red.